Hey everybody, welcome to another Goody Reader video tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to load ebooks onto your Kobo Aura. You can see a picture of it here. This is Kobo's latest e-reader. Uh, I really like it because the screen is actually flush with the bezel and there's no dip like most other e-readers. You can see a few pictures of it here. So the Kobo Aura reads primarily EPUB and PDF files. This means that you can actually shop on other websites that actually sell books in those two formats and then if you purchase them you'll need to use Adobe Digital Editions and if they're free books downloaded from the internet you can use Calibre and I'll also show you Windows Explorer and Dropbox. So first of all Calibre free download and in order to get started you need to download Calibre just simply google it this is how it's spelled here you need to plug your Kobo Aura into your PC via the accompanied USB cable that comes with it and then once you plug it in you'll get a little notification here and you'll have a notification on your e-reader saying do you want to charge it or do you want to connect it you want to select connect it and then once you fire up Calibre you'll see a picture of your device here these are sort of all the books that came on it or that I have actually purchased. So Calibre, fairly versatile. I'm going to click on a book here. You can see it's an EPUB format. These are a number of sample books that we have. And you can find out some very interesting things like select edit metadata and collect and metadata individually. And this is kind of a cool way that you could edit a lot of things. If you have downloaded books from the internet before you know that sometimes the cover art's not there or the author's name may be in the title and the author's name may be the book uploader's name and your e-reader could get messy fairly fast. Calibre will actually allow you to edit all this information in the book. Everything from the author name to the title to the series name. So let's just say that I don't want the three there. I just want it called Blood and Roses. And then you can see this is in red, but if I click here, it's saved. And you can see here the author sort. It, let's say that the, the cover art's not here, and neither is any of this information. I want to get that. So once you actually have the title and the author's name established, you can click Download Metadata, and it'll actually ping Google Books and Amazon uh, for the correct information. So you can see it here. Okay, so I'm going to just select the Google version. You can see here that some of the information has changed, but most of it actually is the same. But this is a great way that you could actually fetch all this information and make it fairly automatic. I'm just going to click OK. And now what I want to do is actually send this to my device. So I'm just going to select Send Device and then Send to Main Memory. You can see Jobs here is going. I click on device and there's a check mark here next to Blood and Roses by Sylvia Day. So this is a cool way that you can do it. Alternatively, you can just click on device, click on add books, and then just like highlight a multitude of books and just copy them all at once. Uh, this is if all you know all your books are in good order or you just don't care. So this is the main Kobo e-reader directory structure. The actual drive name may change depending on uh, your PC. But you can see here that there's a lot of information. You just really want to be concerned with the main directory here. You notice that we do have, say, the D&D Monsters Manual here and a few other books that we actually downloaded uh, from Kobo. And they're all just in the main directory here. If I want to, say, copy a book, I can just say the 10th order here. Just copy and paste, right? And then... I can paste it and this book is now on my e-reader. Fairly simple. Adobe Digital Editions is a free download and it's primarily used for when you purchase books from other e-book stores in PDF or EPUB format and you want to copy them to your device. Uh, this is protected content with digital rights management. You need to download Adobe Digital Editions if you don't already have it and then you need to actually make an account. Uh, once you make an account with Adobe, you can just click Authorize Computer, and it'll authorize your computer for all purchases. Now, if I want to add a book, I can just select a book here. 
So you can see I have three books that I've purchased that are on my stage. I could select one. And you notice it's all red until I get to my Kobo and then it's green. So this is a book that I had on my desktop, but it's not here anymore. So this is the common error that you'll see. Whereas this book is on my desktop in a specific folder. I can drag it here and you can see that it's copied over. If I click here, I can see a lot of this is Publishers Unknown, but because this is a purchased book, it'll actually say Publisher of Penguin. Lastly, you have Dropbox. Now the Kobo Aura actually has a web browser uh, on it and with the web browser you can actually log into your Dropbox account. Now why would you use Dropbox? Well let's say that you are work and it's kind of boring, you maybe want to search for some books and read them later at home, kill some time. You can log into your Dropbox account at work, say upload a bunch of books as we see books that we've uploaded over the years here on video tutorials and then when you get home you can actually log into your Dropbox account with your Kobo Aura and then click on any of these books say so you can click download right to your e-reader and then it's in your library and then you could organize your collections if you want but in essence it's on your e-reader now and you could read the books and this is a kind of a cool way where if you have multiple devices like a smartphone or a tablet or multiple e-readers instead of having all the ebooks on your PC you can just have all the ebooks in your Dropbox account and because they give you like a few gigs for free and the average ebook is you know, less than a hundred kilobits that you could really store thousands to hundreds of thousands of books on your account and access them uh, at your leisure. So I've taught you today how to use Adobe Digital Editions, Dropbox, Windows Explorer, and Calibre. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, you can leave a comment on this YouTube video and we'll endeavor to answer your questions uh, as soon as we can. Or you can just comment on our website when we add the video there. And for all the latest pre news, previews, interviews, and industry-wide coverage, Make sure you check out our website here at goodyreader.com. And for Goody Reader, my name is Michael, and everybody take care.